I have a message from a student uh, asking about the Supreme Golf Swing lesson plans and what happens if something happens where I can't do the lessons for a while or I'm not playing golf for a while and I've taken a break. All right, we want to treat this just like we always treat at school. If you take a break, fine, it's okay. Once you've done lessons, then to review them is always easy anyway, right? So, so it's the idea of riding the bicycle. So let's say, for example, you do five or six lessons and then you take a break for a few weeks or a couple weeks. Uh, here's, here's the answer, is when you start up again, do a quick review of what you've already accomplished. So go back through the lessons quickly, review them, make sure you're still doing them right, which you should be if you were thorough in the first place. And then what you want to do is then start to add the lesson plan again. So, you know, if you did five or six weeks, take a quick break or for a few weeks, whatever, start up, do your quick review, and then start on week, week six immediately, and then start moving forward again until you take your next break. Um, <clears throat> the other one is, if I'm not playing golf, should I be doing my lessons? This is a very common question for golfers. Look, you don't have to be playing golf on a golf course to be learning to swing the golf club correctly. So if you're a seasonal golfer, say you live in Michigan and you're only playing up until October and then you take the winter off, uh, you can be doing your lessons all winter long and perfect those fundamentals so that when you show up on the golf course next spring, you're gonna be way better than you were when you stopped because you've accomplished a lot of fundamentals you're, you're learning it's just like you know do you have to be playing a piano in a concert to be learning learning to play the piano so the answer is no so we can do our practice whether we're playing golf or not playing golf <clears throat> think of these movements like you're learning yoga poses just keep rehearsing them over and over and over and soon the memory takes place you know a lot of us haven't ridden a bicycle in years. You haven't been on a bicycle in 15, 20 years, but you know what? You can get on a bicycle right now and you'll still know how to do it pretty well because it's an overlearned skill. We only have to overlearn something once, okay? So just keep at the Supreme Golf Swing Lesson Plans at cornettasgolf.com because if we don't rehearse those fundamentals, remember something, we're going to rehearse something else.